I've got the fretboard glued on. Um, put some little abalone diamonds as position markers. So it's now time to install the frets. First thing I'm going to do toward that end is make sure the fretboard is perfectly level. It's really important because um, the fretware I use is quite small on a ukulele, so I can't really count on sanding off the tops of the fret wire to make everything level. I have to just make sure I start out with a dead level fretboard and uh, have to just use a, a minimal amount of leveling of the fret surface. doesn't show but I have pencil marks along the fretboard and I can see in the first few positions and right here I still have to sand a little more. There, now all the pencil marks are gone and that means my fretboard is level. This is 80 grit paper though, so I'm going to sand this again with a few finer grits of paper, probably get up to 220, and then I can install the frets. Before I install the frets though, I will take a fine saw and clean all the sanding swarf out of the fret slots. Now that the fretboard is leveled I can start putting in frets. Um, the fret wire for ukuleles is the same stuff I use for mandolins and it's really quite delicate. It's 53 thousandths of an inch wide and 37 thousandths of an inch tall. Um, and because it's so delicate, I have to be really careful with how I put it into the slots. I can't hit it with a hammer other than perfectly square because it's really easy to leave a dent in the fret wire. And if it gets dented, I have to file away the dents and that of course reduces the height of the fret wire and all of the adjacent fret wire. So what I do is I just sort of set it in place and then I use this block of ebony and hammer it in that way and that doesn't leave any dents and so then I, I get maximum height of the fret wire. So again, just kind of do a little tap to keep the wire in its slot. Thank you for not cooperating. And then okay. So that's the process. I'll get all of the frets hammered in and then do a little bit of leveling. There shouldn't be very much to level. The frets are in and I put a little dab of super glue at the end of each fret slot just to fill in the slot because the slots are deeper than the fret wire and I don't want those little gaps there. So that's on both sides. Now I'm going to just make sure the frets are level and 
do a quick dressing and finish off the edges and then that part will be done. the frets now. And there are a couple that are a little bit flat on top. They were higher than the others. So I'll take this diamond file and reshape the crown. Now I'll polish the frets. I've got some 320 grit sandpaper here that I'm wrapping around a dowel rod. And I will just pull this back and forth. And that takes out the filing scratches. Then I'll switch to 400 grit paper and do the same thing. And then finally, I'll get some 4-0 steel wool and go over the frets one more time and get rid of pretty much all the sanding scratches. can move on to shaping the neck. On a guitar I use a spoke shave to do the roughing out of the neck shape, but there's really not enough room to even get some momentum going with a spoke shave on this short little soprano uke neck. So I'll use a few different rasps and shape it that way. Well there, it's pretty well the shape and thickness I want. Now I'll use some scrapers to smooth out the rasp marks and then finally sand it and that'll be the end of neck shaping. Yeah, there is a little knot here. But Nothing I can really do about that, and I don't think it's a big deal. Certainly, structurally, it's no big deal. Um, so, sometimes you just get those surprises when you start carving. It wasn't visible from the surface when I chose this piece of mahogany, but there it is. Neck is shaped and sanded. It's about 
650 thousandths of an inch at the first fret and 750 at the ninth fret. Um, got a nice D shape to it, I suppose I'd call that. Um, now the, the next big thing will be to start putting the finish on. I'll mask off where the bridge is going to go and then do the sealing of the rosewood and the mahogany and spray some lacquer.